Hi guys, it's Donna at Face Paints for you and I'm back as I've had a request from a lady called Chrissy that she needed some help with the Spider-Man design. So as I was on a job yesterday, a boy requested a Spider-Man design so I thought why not quickly make a video and hopefully this will help you out Chrissy. So let's get started. I got my white diamond effects and loaded a diamond effects petal sponge and as it's the perfect shape I dabbed it on both eyes um, slightly on an angle um, and then got my one inch short flat brush from the face painting shop and loaded it with global red and I carefully went around the shape of the spider-man eyes that we have already made uh, with the petal sponge and filled in the forehead area then I went from under the eyes with my brush and slightly pulled it uh, slightly on a curve and filled in that triangle area that was uh, left to fill in. Then I loaded my low corner round number three brush with black diamond effects and by putting my brush down flat, I did a thick outline around the eyes. Then with the same brush I did four very long lines going down towards the focal point that would be at the top of the nose in the middle of the eyebrows and they look a bit like teardrops let's say and I do that by pushing my brush down flat and then as I drag it down I slowly pull my brush up to the tip And this is called a thick to thin technique. And as you can see, I used this on all of the lines of the cobweb. And I do this on both sides of the face too. Then from the top, you start joining with small curved lines going all the way across and then again underneath again some more curved lines going all the way across and so on again don't forget always by using the thick to thin technique don't forget to try and keep it as symmetrical as possible I'm sorry you can't see this at the moment, but I am just doing a small, simple spider. If you do need help with this, please let me know. As you can see, I go back and do a few more spider web lines. And of course, this is because all faces are different shapes and sizes. So the best thing to do is at the end, always check your design and see if anything else is needed. Now all I do to finish off the design is get my low cornell round number two and load it with white diamond effects and do a few highlights. And Chrissy, I really hope this video helps you out and hopefully helps someone else out too. And please guys, if this video has helped you in any way or you like this video, give me a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell, especially as we have competitions coming up soon. Thanks for watching. Happy painting. Bye guys.